In 2015, our colleagues at Crow Wing County Community Services noticed a significant increase in out-of-home placement. They decided to look at the data and the arrest records of those parents. What they found was that the majority of the parents were arrested for methamphetamine use and other drug-related substances. The increase was so significant that they decided to convene a group of stakeholders from the community to talk about this. Research was done and they looked at several different models from around the United States and they found one that they felt would be something that could make a difference here. Some model that took its time and was thoughtful and built long-term solutions using existing resources. And this model was built in the state of Washington. And the way they did their work was documented by the Robert Wood Johnson's Foundation and that is called the Self-Healing Communities Model. So the Self-Healing Communities Model has at its core the goal to reduce adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs for short, and build the community's capacity to solve its problems. Too often it's the experts and the people with the degrees that are trying to fix those people, and we need everybody on board on the conversation. So the Self-Healing Communities Model looks to expand leadership by getting the knowledge of ACEs out and understanding of how trauma in childhood affects people throughout the course of their life, how there's negative outcomes associated with childhood trauma from mental illness to physical problems like heart disease or lung disease to social problems like broken relationships or not being able to work. And then we expand that leadership, we get the community involved through conversations, and then we work on fixing our own problems. And so in Washington State, when they did this, they had dramatic results in sort of the eight to 10 year range. Things like teen suicide rates dropped by 60%, teen pregnancy rates dropped by about 50%, uh, truancy problems and, and behavioral problems in school uh, dropped, uh, arrests for uh, chemical use and addiction dropped as well. So dramatic results in Washington State, across the state, in many communities that use this model, and that's the goal for us here too. Now we know it's an eight to 10 year play, and so we are committed in, for the long haul as well. Amy started talking and sharing a little bit about the ACEs and Tom came up and began talking and then Tom's wife came up and shared her story. And all of a sudden it just kind of hit me that somebody understood, somebody got it. And it wasn't just the people I was sitting with, it was me, like I got it too. At that moment, I understood that everything that had happened to me growing up in Northeast Brainerd was not my fault, that I was not alone, um, and that it did not define me. And even though I always felt strong and even though I always knew better, at that moment I actually felt accepted, like it was okay for me to be proud in our community. I got it, I was around other people who got it. And it was pretty powerful. And at that moment I decided I am going to take part in this as much as I can. I wanna volunteer with Bridges of Hope with the ACEs and the resiliency, I wanna be a part of this. Even as a mother of adult children, I'm still able to share this with them and they're able to learn and grasp not only what's happened to them, my children have ACE scores, I was unfamiliar, I was young, um, but they're able to use it while they're raising their children. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to get so involved. I wanna help break that cycle. Um, and like I said, I know that I didn't do all the right things raising my children, but I can help them grow and I can help them teach their children the right way. On behalf of our organization, Bridges of Hope, thank you. Thank you to the Brainerd Lakes Area Community Foundation, not only for your support financially, which is critically important to the success of implementing the Self-Healing Communities Project, but also of your support philosophically. This is an innovative approach to healing our community. Thank you.